Hey, what's up guys? So I really wanted to make a build with Nimis and Nimis is this ring right here. I think most of you already know it's a really overpowered item and what it does, it makes your projectiles fire at random, but they also return and returning is really strong because when they start returning, they can hit the mob an extra time, which is like pretty much a hundred percent more damage multiplier for uh, most builds. And yeah, it's insane for one item slot. And there's like a million different builds with this ring, but I wanted to do something a little bit off meta, which is a uh, lightning trap. And honestly, it's been pretty nice. Like lightning trap has some pretty good synergy with Nimis because it inherently shoots a lot of projectiles. So the random projectiles doesn't matter. And it's also pretty high base damage, pretty good clear speed, like just a really nice skill. And also it's pretty, pretty tanky character the way I've built it. Uh, but there's a couple of clanky things about it, but oh yeah, I'm still overall pretty happy with it. And uh, yeah, I think I spent around 40 divines on the build, maybe even more, because Nimis on its own is like 17 divines or something, and I have some pretty expensive wands, and uh, yeah, I think around 40, 50 divines, how much I've spent on it. And uh, how am I scaling like the trap anyways? Well, the, one of the strongest ways to scale traps is through uh, Sunblast. And what this belt does, it gives you uh, plus two traps on throw, so pretty much triple damage for free. But the downside is your traps can't be triggered by enemies anymore. They have to trigger by expiring. So with a perfectly rolled uh, sunblast, the traps last for one second, which means there's like a little bit of a delay, delayed playstyle as you can see. But the coverage kind of makes up for it. And the other downside of Sunblast is that uh, traps don't trigger anymore, they just expire, which means uh, a lot of stuff suck. For example, uh, this here gives power charges when you trigger, but they never trigger, so you never get charges. And you can't use charge the trap support, because that also has trigger uh, effects. And Saboteur also sucks for it, because the region trap node uh, also procs off triggers. So that's why I'm a uh, Trickster instead of Saboteur. And uh, Trickster is also really nice because you kind of have to be a little bit of tank, a little bit tanky with Soundblast because there's this delayed playstyle rate. You're going to get hit a decent amount. So Trickster is great for that because, well, mainly for Dread Notes because this makes it so you're always faster than the mobs and this gives a lot of evasion and maximum uh, energy shield. And this is a really strong suppress node. And also just grab Blood Body Mat because it gives a lot of uh, more damage. And uh, yeah, the other way I'm scaling Lightning Trap is just through levels. You can get level 30 pretty easily. I don't have Empower or anything or a Corrupt. And the way I'm doing that is through a pretty expensive ones actually. That give a plus two each, so that's plus four. And you can also get the Tattoo for really cheap, plus one. And I'm also using a Dragon Fang's Flight Amulet, which gives plus three. And this was really, really cheap, like, I don't know, 50 chaos or something, because I guess nobody plays light Lightning Trap, which is cool. And yeah, that's how I'm hitting level 30, and uh, that's perfect, because after 30, it doesn't really make sense to scale the level uh, anyways. And uh, I think that's pretty, pretty much it for how I'm scaling damage. Like, there isn't really much at all. And I guess I'll talk about the defenses. Trickster is really wants to go evasion and energy shield, so that's what I did. Like I have really juicy chest with evasion energy shield, uh, energy shield helmet because uh, this node gives me evasion based on the energy shield on the helmet. And yeah, boots don't have that much stats or gloves, just life resists. And I'm also using uh, grace, and that's enough to hit a really juicy evasion uh, evasion pull. And this is a little bit overkill actually, because with blind I'm hitting the evasion cap really easily. Like I can hit the cap at like level at like thirty k evasion, I think. But it still helps sometimes for like against accurate mobs or something. And the best tree is something like this. Just grab the whole the trap stuff, uh, lightning stuff, crit stuff, some aura scaling, suppress, and I also grabbed uh, some pierce here, and also more projectile speed. And I also anointed a long shot for even more projectile speed because even though it doesn't matter, it does help like the feel of the build when you have some uh, projectile speed. And since I'm evasion, I also took Wind Dancer for a uh, more max hit taken. And I also have a Watcher's Eye, I think, yeah. 
for the main thing is uh, evade evade attack hits while affected by grace. And I think this is the strongest watcher's eye mod in the game because uh, it's insanely hard to hit the vision cap, and this kind of it pretty much doubles my effective uh, evade chance because going from like eighty five to ninety is a uh, I don't know thirty three percent more evasion chance. Yeah, it's just an insane mod. And I'm also using, uh, I'm also stealing Born in the Shadows from uh, Saboteur, which is, this was really cheap as well, like I think 150 chaos or something. And what this gives, it gives a permanent blind on everything and also some damage reduction. Just really good defensive uh, ascendancy point. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Like it's a really simple build, but I don't really know what else to say, so. Let's do some random map. Oh, I guess some... Something I forgot to say is that the mana cost on Lightning Trap is pretty high. You can see like 50 mana. Which means it's it's pretty much impossible to sustain the mana cost. Because we can't leech it or recover it in any good way. So I have to use a mana flask to even cast Lightning Trap. Which uh, yeah, kind of sucks, you can't automate it, so you always have to press your mana flask. And I can't go EV either, because well, I need my energy shield. <laughs> so that's one annoying thing. But uh, you can see the playstyle is uh, really nice, even with the delay traps. Oh, and I also don't have any <laughs> life regen, so I have to use a life flask. <laughs> And for the boss, I just pop wall grace and usually I can just tank it. Not that one, probably. <laughs> and you can see, not I didn't even curse and the damage is pretty good. And yeah, that's the build. 